Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the Arduino software, the IDE, on a Windows 10 computer. So the first thing we have to do is look up Windows, um, you can look up the store, right? So Microsoft Store, um, if you're on Windows, you look up the Microsoft Store. And now that we're here, we can look up, go to search, and go to Arduino. It's pretty simple. Arduino, I own it because I have it on different computers, but I just got this computer not too long ago so I'm going to install it and after I install it you just press install you wait for it to download my internet's it's kind of slow right now because of the coronavirus everybody's at home so as you can see here my internet is really slow even though I have the Cox you know one thousand um, megabit download speed but regardless it's still pretty slow so I'll wait for this thing to load live and in the meantime I'll tell you about the Arduino the Arduino is this little smart board, microcontroller, and uh, a little bit about myself as I'm an engineer. So I've been using it for a couple of years already. But in order for you to start using it, you have to download it first, the program. So we're downloading this Arduino program. You know, and as you can see here, I imported some of my old files. So I already have something started, this sketch. But you would normally start off with something like this. And that's basically it. You know, it's pretty straightforward. Now, a little bit of bonus here. You know, I'm gonna to explain to you just the basics. This is the code that will be running forever. This is where you set up your parameters. And if you don't understand what that means, I will make more videos in the future. But for those of you that are, that are downloading this, I'm assuming you know a little bit. But basically, this is where you set your, you know, your pin 13 to as an output or as an input. This over here is where you set your your pin 13 to, you know, go high, then delay it for a second, then go low. You know, this is where you, where you put the meat of the code, and this is where you assign the variables. But that's basically it. I want this video to be short. This is how you download the program. It's really straightforward. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. See you guys in the next couple of videos. Bye.